Have you ever wondered if you were to run your GPU, whether it be in a laptop or a desktop, at over 100 degrees Celsius for an extended period of time, would you fry it? What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech where we talk about everything gaming and technology. So this is a question I've been wondering about for a long time. So I decided to put this to the test by trying to overheat my own laptop and personal desktop to see how long it'll take before they fail. But before we get to that, I gotta give a big shout out and thank you to our sponsor for this episode, Best Buy. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the best deals that I can find here on November 23rd. Now I do have it in my contract that I can be honest about the deals on Best Buy site. So this is my honest and true opinion. And those of you that have followed me throughout this year know that my opinion hasn't changed. I'm not just trying to sell you crappy laptops at overpriced prices. Uh, some of these laptops are good deals. Some of them are bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the deals that Best Buy offers. All right, so here we are on Best Buy site. We've just searched for gaming laptops here at the top. The best-selling laptop right here is the Asus Tough 17-inch with an RTX 3050 for 679. I think this is a pretty good deal. Um, only eight gigs of RAM on that, but still pretty good. The Zephyrus G15 with an RTX 3070 for 1549. Very, very nice deal. But if you want the 16 by 10 aspect ratio on your display, a little better screen to body ratio, that's where the Zephyrus M16 may be a little bit better. 16 inch display instead of 15 inch, and you get a RTX 3060 here instead of a 3070. So if you're after more gaming chops, go with the G15 with the RTX 3070. It'll be worth it for only $50 more. The Dell G15 with 3050 Ti, I think this would be a lot better price at $799. $879 is okay. So uh, you get a really good CPU on this machine, but only eight gigs of RAM and a 3050 Ti, meh. Acer Nitro 5 GTX 1650 for 729, meh. I think this laptop could be probably 650 or less. Asus Tough Dash F15 RTX 3060. This would be a better uh, $1,000 laptop because you only have a four core i7 in here. But overall, this is still a very decent-ish casual gaming laptop that's also very portable. MSI Sword 3050 Ti i7 this is an 8 core i7 11800h in this uh, so for 899 it's it's a decent deal but the gpu power is a little bit lacking the delta 15 very powerful laptop for 1299 this uh radeon rx 6700m is a little bit slower than an rtx 3070 and so for a 1299 you're basically getting an rtx 3070 very very good bang for the buck then we have the alienware m15 i think this is a solid deal but not amazing deal for 1699 but the thermals on it run on the warmer side. I would say 1600 would be my ideal price for this. Asus Zephyrus M16 3050 Ti for 1299. I think this is still overpriced. I think this should be about 1150 for a truly great deal on this much power because it's a really weak GPU. Razer Blade 15 with the RTX 2080 Super. This is this is a pretty reasonable deal if you're a Razer fan. Gigabyte G5 849. We've got a 3050 in it. Ah, this would be a better if it, I think if it was $7.99 or maybe, yeah, don't, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's okay. The GS76 was on sale. It's not on sale anymore, but it might come back on sale here as we get closer to Christmas. So I'd keep an eye out on this one. This is a very nice machine. I did get it in hand and I was very impressed. MSI GF65 849. Absolutely insane deal. This is fantastic. RTX 3060 is the cheapest RTX 3060 I have seen all year year but this is unavailable nearby to me i did try to buy it i can't get it shipped in so you might have to uh drive to a store near you if it's in stock gigabyte oris 15p fantastic for 11.99 highly recommended great build quality great display for the money slim 7 with a 4k display ryzen 9 hx great processor weak gpu great display uh, if you're in looking for a 4K high color gamut display for $15.99, still feels a bit overpriced. If Aorus 15P, RTX 3080 for $18.99. Very powerful machine. Again, nice chassis build quality. I really like this one. I think this is a great overall deal. And then we have the HP Omen 16-inch QHD display, RTX 3070 for $16.99. Good overall. Bang for the buck. I really like the Omen series keyboard and trackpad. I think this is a solid deal. I wouldn't call it amazing, but definitely worth considering if you're in the market for that kind of laptop. Now, if you want my opinion on all the laptops that Best Buy sells, you can check my gaming laptop list. You can see benchmarks. You can compare prices. You can look at my different ratings. All the very best deals will be right here at the top. So lots, look at all those deals right now. So many laptops on sale. And I'll be featuring Best Buy's deals here in this discount section. And to anyone that uses those affiliated links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. I couldn't do this without your support. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Can I actually kill my computers by running them at 100 degrees Celsius? 
The first computer I'm doing this test with is an Aorus X5 V6. It features an i7 6820HK and a GTX 1070. I used the laptop for thousands of hours of gaming as well as video editing. So I thought, hey, I could bust that out and try some crypto mining on it. And the temperatures were through the roof, 90 degrees Celsius on the GPU and over 100 degrees Celsius on the video memory. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, is this thing going to just like catch on fire? Like I, I can smell melting plastic. Now I realize that's probably just dust or something because it doesn't smell as bad as it did when I first fired it up. Now as many of you know your laptop CPU paste and GPU paste will age, right? The pads and the paste will not conduct heat nearly as well over time and that's why every two years or so it's highly recommended that you repaste your CPU and GPU for better thermal conductivity to take the heat out of your system. Now the Aorus X5 has never been repasted in its five-year life. So we're talking about if someone just forgot to repaste and they never repasted and they're just running maximum temperatures, are they going to fry their laptop? That's kind of the test. Now when I started this test, I thought for sure the Aorus X5 was just going to die within 24 hours, but I woke up the next day and surprise, surprise, the Aorus X5 was still alive, still kicking, and still making money. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep going and see how long this laptop can last. And that brings me to the second computer that I am tortured testing, and that is my personal desktop computer with an RTX 3090 Founders Edition. And it's in a fairly small case, and I have the whole window open, and the fan on the RTX 3090 is at 100%, and yet the video memory is still over 100 degrees, and I do have a tiny overclock on the video memory. Honestly, it could probably do a higher overclock, but the temperatures can go up to like 110 degrees, and I'm like, okay, that's too spicy. We're just gonna go for like a little over 100 degrees Celsius for now. Technically though, it is just the video memory in this case, because the GPU core on the RTX 3090 is quite low in temperatures, about 45 degrees Celsius, while the video memory is like through the roof. This, there's no way this can be safe. There's no way this can be sustainable, especially since the RTX 3090 and the Aorus X5 have their fans basically at maximum non-stop. If you want your tech to last as long as possible, I definitely don't recommend running your fans at maximum all the time 24 seven, unless you're willing to get in there and replace the fan or two if they fail. Now I'm not the only RTX 3090 owner with very high memory temperatures. There are many other people online that have reported similar super high temperatures. Now I haven't ran my RTX 3090 nonstop, but despite it having many breaks uh, for gaming and other things where the temperatures were quite a bit lower, I still averaged almost 98 degrees. Many, many hours in the last couple of weeks on the RTX 3090 with over 100 degrees temperatures and the Aorus X5 laptop has been going non-stop at 90 degrees Celsius on the GPU core and over 100 degrees Celsius on the video memory, which is basically the max thermal threshold. And to top it off, I went ahead and overclocked the video memory so that it could mine a little bit faster. So all of these things put together, I guess my biggest question is if you're going to run your GPU at these crazy temperatures, if you never repaste your CPU and GPU, are you going to fry your laptop? That's the question. I'm trying it out. Now, keep in mind, this is past gen technology on the laptop. The newer laptops in theory should be more resilient as technology has improved, but there's also different heat thresholds. Like the Aorus X5 can go to 90 degrees Celsius on the GPU core, 100 degrees on the video memory before it thermal throttles. Whereas the newer laptops, thermal throttle closer to 87 degrees, 86, 87 degrees. One of the big questions I have is, will the Aorus X5 and the RTX 3090 be able to GPU mine enough to pay for themselves before they burn out? And I think the Aorus X5 is probably worth about 500, maybe $600. So I'm gonna have the goal to have the Aorus X5 mine $500 worth of Ethereum, before it burns itself out. And the RTX 3090, the goal is for it to earn $2,000 before it burns itself out. This is gonna be an ongoing and continuous test, which I will update you guys on periodically in the live streams. And whenever one of them burns out, which I think one of them will burn out, I will let you know, and we'll be able to calculate roughly how many hours the product was able to survive. Now, obviously I'm not recommending that anyone else go and run their GPUs at 100 degrees Celsius nonstop. I really, I don't think 
think that's a good idea. It goes against manufacturer recommendations. Overall, this little experiment so far has kind of eased my mind and impressed me a lot. Made me kind of think and realize that maybe laptops and GPUs in general are more resilient than we thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will make an updated video when either the laptop or the RTX 3090 ultimately fail because they will fail eventually. It's just a matter of time, really. Now I did start GPU mining on some of the other laptops I have laying around just to give you some better idea of what kind of hash rate you can expect on the different laptops and if it's actually worth it because I'm, I'm wondering like, am I gonna kill any of these laptops? So it's kind of a torture test for the laptops. So if I can go for a while without any of them failing, then perhaps I can recommend running some GPU mining on your own personal gaming laptop, though I would not recommend ever buying gaming laptops in general to GPU mine because if the GPU fails, you lose the whole laptop where if you have a GPU mining rig you at least can just replace each individual GPU which only costs like anywhere from like 300 to a thousand dollars you know uh, versus having to replace the whole two thousand dollar laptop if it fails so keep an eye out for some future content about GPU mining on gaming laptops and whether it's actually worth it so that will be coming out eventually one of these days so that's it for this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and if you want to see more of my content hit the subscribe button don't forget to check out my Black Friday deals guide video as well as my other video talking about whether right now is a good time to actually buy a gaming laptop or not. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out his eye.